So, finally, Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to start spicing up. Um, and by spicing up, I mean we're getting some new stuff. So, this weekend, the Light Sworn XYZ finally comes out to play. Um, as I called earlier, uh, you know, they killed Level Chain. So, now we have this thing coming out of the woodwork. Uh, you know, Minerva. So, we'll have to see what she goes for in price. Um, I'm looking forward to her being at least a very, very expensive prize card. Um, considering that uh, people think that she's going to be some godsend for Light Sworn when she really won't. Uh, but she's going to be played in a lot of other things. So, in addition to her hitting the metagame and people going to regionals and complaining that they lost to Minerva Milling 3, we also have, of course, the Heat Resistance, uh, Noden. Uh, Noden single handedly is going to change our game. Not on too big of a level. Oh, yeah, let, let's not lie. It's going to be big. A card that comes off of Instant Fusion and just basically nets you free advantage into a free XYZ um, always is good. And I know a lot of players are like, yes, I can abuse Noden, you know, a Noden FTK. Um, I think isn't as strong here as it was. Um, I think most of the stuff uh, got wrecked on our list. But it, it's finally, like, some interest is coming, you know? We don't have the broken Utopia. We don't have Infinity. So the super broke combos that we'll get next year about this time, not here. So it'll either be power creeped out by that point in time, or, you know, Noden will be destroyed on our list with Instant Fusion. So in combination with the ban list... We don't know what's going to get hit when. Um, I assume that they're going to take Toronto and Rimini and to take some time to analyze and see how we need to prep. Um, you also have to keep in mind that Texas is going to be in October. Noden will be running around in full force by then. You know, So not only do we get a change in the game, to clean up that change, though, we don't know. We don't have a definitive date because Konami said, we can fix this whenever the hell we want, guys. Good news. Bad news. You might have to do with Noden for the rest of your lives. So I had to drink some water because this is just absolute bullshit. But at the end of the day, the game gets Noden. And if you want to play Minerva as a substitute to level chain, Go for it. If you've got 800 to to $1,000 to spend on this game, be my guess, but the average player ain't about that life. You know how giant hands are only, what, down to 600 now? But Minerva coming out of the floodgates is going to be pretty expensive. You can get a Drek with something at least for 300 which isn't terrible. I mean, it's a very good card in dolls. Let's be real. Most doll players in the mirror, when they look at Drek with engine with 3,000 defense, and they go, hmm, I have to make a terrible construct play now to kill this thing. And then stuff just floats anyway. But, moral of the story, something that a lot of the new players are going to have to deal with, though, is the fact that we're going to have a relevant prize card. And Giant Hand was relevant in its time, but he kind of backed off. His time's gone on. Now he's just kind of like, eh, he's there. But having two prize cards right now, uh, Minerva and Giant Hand, and to a lesser extent, Draco Sengen. Now these cards have gotten reprints. They're all very playable. In some situations, not so much. But I'm not going to compare... I, I do want to compare it to the time where Crush Card was out. But pff, these three cards definitely are not as good as Crush Card in its prime. But the thing is, we have three prize cards that all, in their own right, do something. And they're semi-relevant. Um, who knows? You could be in a regional playing, and your opponent just makes giant hand, and you're like, you're an asshole, sir. But a lot of the new players really discount not having that experience from way back in the day. You know, the relevance of having a prize card at times can make or break your game experience. I know a lot of people really want to play it off and say having a prize card isn't that important. Yes and no. But it's a prize card for a reason, 
And it really does force the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! is pay to win. You know, if you want to do good, you have to pay for it. And it sucks, because a lot of the casual players that don't want to spend money on this game, if they want to get into the competitive scene and they feel that they need that card, they're going to be pumping out a good chunk of money. Or they're just going to remain on the status and just wait until the time is right for them to come into the game. And, hell, Crush Card was what? 1500 and it's time. And you have a 300, a 600, and I want to say a 700 unreleased card. Obviously, Minerva's going to drop. She has no reason. She's not better than Giant Hand at any stretch of the imagination. But you're only going to have 8 in circulation, 10 after this weekend, 3 for the main event. I think it's 1 for the side event, so it would be 4. Uh, and then 4 for Toronto as well, 4 for Romini. So yeah, it should be 8. Um, actually, no, it should be five because there's a public and random playoff. Excuse me. So there'll be ten. Uh, that's a, a lot. No, not really. But, you know, people are obviously going to spend it on those cards just to make sure that they have the first one so that they're good to go. But once again, though, what I'm trying to say is ITT, there is a change coming to the game. But Minerva just adds into the fire of the prize card bullshit that not everyone will have access to, but at least budget players will be able to abuse Node into their full potential. So I'm looking forward to this. I don't know about you guys. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys are thinking. It's going to be an interesting rest of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.